what's going on everybody z here welcome back to some more astroneer so last episode we went we got a uh well essentially a cargo shuttle completely full of titanium and iron we're gonna need it because we got some things to do but we have an issue this base does not have a very good power infrastructure now i do have a couple of rtgs these are the rtgs that we usually take with us on our little road trips uh for power and stuff like that so uh we have those but i don't want to count the whole base just for those guys because like when we're not here nothing's gonna happen everything doesn't happen when we're not here it's not good but uh we're gonna be making some power things so hopefully you guys enjoy if you do don't forget to leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more so uh we are actually gonna go with i want to build a solar array um i have not built the solar array only a few times so this is gonna be a little bit fun copper glass plastic graphene what that actually doesn't sound that bad at all uh graphene okay so i'm gonna need ammonium and hydrazine oh i should go grab you know what i think it might be who of us to go grab some ammonium from how much graphene do we need it's only one graphene per thing okay we'll be fine uh, so let's go ahead uh that's one do i have any more i want i want to like i want to like make four of these things uh that's a half of one uh there's uh there's there's two <laughs> uh where's the do i have any more i might you know what we might just go into the hills here and find it ourselves that might be a little bit easier too do i have the drill and stuff on this guy or did i i probably took that back to uh to glacio huh yeah i don't have it okay that's fine it's fine everything is fine let's just go ahead let's make some hydrazine first uh i need hydrogen 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 and we're gonna need some hydrazine <gasps> oh i had some more over here okay all right we <laughs> we have enough for four now <gasps> wonderful all right so uh another hydrazine going in there trying to get the graphite make sure we're ready to rock and roll on that uh one two three and uh four like i said we need work we're gonna make four of these and then we're gonna make uh, a battery storage deal as well all right so that should be the fourth one right one two three fourth one's in there fantastic all right the four graphene has been made uh now we need plastic <laughs> let me see what plastic actually is not rubber plastic this time carbon and compound actually i should have should have some over here this is compound where did that plastic go i don't think i used it did i did i make airs one there's two uh it was what carbon and compound is that what it is carbon compound okay so we have that uh let me go ahead mm, i need to get these ingredients set aside on something maybe one of these guys all right four plastic four graphene what else do we need we need glass and copper all right so we have plenty of copper glass though that might be a different story oh actually i have this quartz right here let's go ahead and get this smelted i don't think i have glass already made though oh i actually do i have one right there that i can see let's go and get these on guys on here let them do their thing and then we have one glass here any more uh no all right and then this one that i just literally just got right now <laughs> all right perfect four glass we have the things for the solar so we're gonna make this guy and i think that with these and the battery power pole that we're gonna be making here shortly i believe we're gonna have uh no problemo with power whatsoever all right we're gonna let that do its thing while that's doing its thing i am actually gonna go ahead and i'm gonna throw some stuff in here real quick that i don't need and we're gonna go make a bunch of batteries to throw onto a uh one of these things i mean we already have a few now we need more we need more batteries more batteries needed all right our power pole is halfway made i'm gonna throw the other batteries on here first uh we don't need more than one of these on here this is such a dense form of platform or form of power my god these dogs and their squeaky toys this is a, such a dense form of power storage that we're not gonna need probably any more other than this especially with the uh the combination of those solar panels i think they're gonna fill it up super quick all right i am still gonna be short by four huh all right that's fine we'll make four more all right how's this guy going it looks like it's almost done it, it oh my gosh this thing is massive it's so funny you know it doesn't look like it would be like a uh in a box this big it doesn't look like it'd be in a box that big comparatively to like you know i mean that comes in the same size box but anyways that's besides the point point. and there's our final battery for our battery pole of amazingness i know it's great right all right so uh we're gonna get these guys hooked up 
right over here and i think we're gonna place them okay let's see what's a good oh, see the problem here is that i'm on a pole so the orientation is gonna be weird because these actually move from side to side so i'm trying to think like where the power actually turns on i think it kicks on like over here and it goes until over here so it'd actually be better to have them probably like that yeah we'll we'll probably do them that way let's wait let's wait till they're all done though all right i'm too anxious to wait i want to get these bad boys out rock and roll <laughs> i forget how long they take to print <gasps> they look so good oh i love them i love them so much all right so uh we're gonna place them see i don't know when these actually like kick on i don't know if they're gonna kick on right now okay let's get let's get it connected here and then let's get this guy connected right here all right so when are these gonna start working they should all they should like move facing the sun ish maybe i maybe i should put an incline on here oh they did it they moved they did the things they did the things there it is the beautiful sun. wait that one stopped that one was good oh that one stopped now too is it because they're behind the trees maybe must be in the they're in the shadows is that is that the issue oh no maybe we'll have to have them down here i mean they're going now well that that one stopped now interesting all right um so let's do this let's make something out of these let's uh let's do this let's try to make an incline right here i really this is the this is the days the days i wish i had my true flat because we could make a perfect 45 <gasps> but no but no all right we're gonna try them on this thing over here disconnect you and bring you on over here we're gonna put them on these hopefully i made this uh this thick enough if i put it like this they should work a little bit better hopefully all right so those are connected up ready to rock and roll let's see how about no i gripped yeah i just had them lined up perfectly darn it all right line it up again bring you yeah. <laughs> we'll work on that one this one all right cool uh so that might be our most beneficial spot for now oh i bet you our other one's done yes okay we got one more print one more we'll have four of them and we should have all the power this base could probably ever need and there's three of them soaking up those wonderful rays uh now if i had a splitter i could actually see how much power is coming in oh wait hold on a second i do have a splitter right here let's let's take a peek let's see how much power we got coming in these bad boys wait how did this one move what the heck happened oh my goodness things are just moving it's terrible everything is not lined up anymore you know as soon as i uh as soon as i get this connected it's gonna it's gonna turn off uh 24 we have 24 units of power whatever the units of power are on this game we we don't we i don't know if it's been officially announced what the units of power but we have 24 so far i wonder if it gets stronger through the day and like it tapers off you know because like doesn't actual solar uh like you know high noon times the most production and then it, like it kind of tapers off as the sun goes down and like it kind of starts tapering up once the sun i think so i think that's the thing I don't know leave a comment down below am i am i right in that or am i wrong am i just wrong i could be wrong i don't know and the fourth one is done let's go put it over here as well get this guy hooked up ready to go uh you know we could have probably put we probably squeeze another one in there but i think this is gonna, i think this is gonna be plenty of power i think you know what i say that is there ever too much power though is there ever enough probably not all right so these guys are all good ready to go zero power coming in um I think that's good for that. Now, all we need is a... We need a large wind turbine. Still waiting for that. It's going to come. It's going to happen. I'm telling you right now. We will get a large wind turbine. It'll happen. I just don't know when. Um, and I also don't know when the update is coming out. So we're still kind of standing by for updating stuff. Now, I do probably need to go grab more tungsten. And that would be super useful. I could probably afford to grab more copper. Uh, we need to make more platforms as well for storage. Let's go ahead. Let's actually make a few platforms. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the large platform type D is the uh, the angled storage looking platform, this guy, or type B. We're going to make some of those because we're going to need some storage for some things. So let me go ahead and grab a bunch of these. We'll probably make, uh, we'll make two of them to start with. I don't want to go overly crazy. Uh, I don't want to go through all of my iron right away, but, you know, we still need to make some storage stuff. You know, that definitely used to be the large platform type D. Now it's the large platform type B. You know, I don't understand. Uh, let's go ahead and make some steel as well so we can make a couple more of these. I'd like to I'd like to make probably two more of these platforms as well. Oh, no, I think we're out of... Are we out of argon? Do we have more? Oh, okay, we are... <laughs> Not even close. 
All right, so there's one, uh, two, three, four. Okay, so we'll make uh, four of these. That'll give us two uh, materials for these platforms as well. And we'll just probably get those built and set off to the side for now. I don't need them yet, but we will for sure. I don't know why that's so satisfying to watch, but it really is. Oh, it stopped. Darn it. <laughs> when, the, when the little power deals are just like constantly going, it's pretty cool. Uh, one, two, three, and four. We'll go ahead and throw these on. Oh, I already had one. Well, I guess we have extras. All right, so I have the stuff I need for all these. We just got to kind of wait for them to print. They do take a little bit. All right, are, are, are these going? Yeah, they're going. Wonderful. All right, power. Oh, 32. Oh, it does work that way. That is very cool. Okay, so it's 32 max. I want to see. Do these do these increase at all? So it was at 24 before. Oh, wait, hold on. Was that before we added the last one? That might have been before we added the last one. Yeah, that's probably before we add the last one. I'm guessing each one of these outputs probably eight. And that would give us 32. And then it would have been 24 with three. So um, maybe not. Okay. All right. You know what? It, it is what it is. It's fine. You know, I'm not going to lie. These batteries are not as full as I thought they'd be. They drain down quite a bit, but um, I mean, maybe they're filling up as fast as they can, but it's a little actually kind of a little worrisome because we have those over there. Those guys are going, but then we had these. We had all this going and we had RTGs on here. Are we still pulling power? No, it's still filling up. Okay. I was, I was like, uh, you know, maybe we don't have enough, but I think we do. I think we are good. Uh, and then, I, like I said, I'm going to get two of these guys printed up just over here, stored up, ready to go. But I think that's going to end this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. We will be back for sure. And like I said, I smell an update on the horizon, so I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, if you guys haven't already checked out Astroneer, I do recommend it. Um, I'll have a link down below for the Steam page. This is available on PlayStation and Xbox as well. But um, yes, thank you guys for coming out here. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you the next one.